everyone. Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about three things in JavaScript. Um, the first one is going to be the prompt method. And we're going to be talking about if statements and if else statements. And then we're going to be talking about the difference between one equal sign and two equal signs. So let's go ahead and jump in here. Okay, so we talked about alerts already and we know that alerts are little like pop-up windows that um, tell us some information. Well, a prompt is similar to that, except that we can actually use it to get input from our website user. And I like to start working with input as soon as possible, because I think that's really where the engagement between the program and the user happens. And what better way to start learning JavaScript than to start playing with some data that people enter. Okay, so for the example that we're going to be talking about today, we're going to be just asking a simple math question. So we're going to prompt for what is 2 plus 2. Okay, and then we're going to take that answer and save it. And then compare and make sure that it works properly. So let's go ahead and, and give this a try. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to open up code pen again, and I'm going to start typing my code answer one, and that's the name of my variable. And what is, oops, I got to change my settings here first so it doesn't keep messing me up. I'm going to go to my settings, and I'm going to go to my JavaScript. Actually, I'm going to go to behavior, and I'm going to uncheck save automatically and auto update preview. That's why it keeps happening. It doesn't let me answer my question yet. So let me grab that, save, and then now I have a run button. Okay, so what is two plus two? And as soon as I do that, as soon as I click save and I click run, I will get my pop-up, my prompt, that says what is two plus two. So I'm gonna hit four. Okay, great, there's nothing left to my program, so nothing's going to happen. So what if I wanna do something with that data? First thing that I need to learn is I need to learn about an if statement. So an if statement is basically a basic control statement. And this allows us to kind of say, if the answer is this, take this road, this direction of code, and if it's not, take this other road. Okay, so similar to how we used the switch statement in our last uh, session, where depending on what the result of a variable was, we could output something. An if statement does the same thing, except it works, in this case, it's gonna be kind of an either or situation. Okay, so how can we check if they an entered the correct value of four? So here is a typical if statement syntax. And it's very important that you memorize the syntax because if statements are gonna be something you're gonna be using quite a, quite a bit. So we say if, it has to be lowercase, if and then parentheses around our condition. And that's where we're gonna start working with relational operators, okay? Um, and that means something like, if this variable equals something, or if you're working with numbers, if this variable is greater than 10, or if this variable is less than 10, or if it's greater than or equal to. Okay, so these are called relational operators. Okay, so if a condition is true, then it's going to, oh, there's gonna be curly brackets, then there's gonna be a separate block of code that will be run if it's true. Okay, so here's an example. So if answer one equals four, then we're gonna alert, yes, you are correct. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So if, keep that syntax right, answer one equals four, alert, yes, you are correct. Okay, and I'm gonna put my semicolon here. So you'll notice my opening and closing brackets are right here. And then this is a separate line of code that will be run if this condition is met, if it's true. So let's go ahead and see what happens. I'm gonna click run and I'm gonna put four and it says, yes, you are correct. Now let's say I run it again and I put five. What should happen? Nothing, nothing happens because this condition 
is false, so it exits the if statement. Okay, so you might be wondering, what is the difference here? Why did you use two equal signs? Up here, you only used one equal sign, but here I used two equal signs. So what is the difference between the equal signs? And when do you use them? So a single equal sign is considered an assignment operator. Okay, so if you are assigning a value to a variable, you use an equal sign. If you are comparing a value to a variable, you use the double equal signs. And believe it or not, there's even a triple equal sign, and that compares not only the value, but it, it compares the type of the variable too. That is considered a strict comparison operator, okay? We're just gonna use um, the double equal signs for this example. So now what if I wanna say you're correct, and then I wanna say you're not correct. So in that case, I need an else, okay? So basically I'm gonna have an if statement, and then I'm going to include else. And this is basically where the either or comes in. Okay, now the else doesn't have an, a conditional on it at this point, because we're just gonna say either this is true and this is false. So we're gonna do a similar thing with this code block, but we're going to say, sorry, you are incorrect. And so now I have my code block for my else. So let's save it and let's run it. What is two plus two? Get it right this time. Yes, you are correct. Run it again. What is two plus two? Eight. Sorry, you are incorrect. Okay, so this is a very, very simple program. And if you can see this program and maybe see what things you can kind of do with it, there are many things that we can do for this simple program. So why don't you go ahead and see if you can change this to create a simple math question like five plus five. Okay, so something like that would be pretty easy. You're just gonna change the numbers, but what if you wanted to have a random numbers input in here? Hmm, we'll talk about that one next. But go ahead and change this, play around with it, maybe do some multiplication and um, have some fun with it until you get comfortable with the if else statement and the prompt statement, okay? And if you like this video and you want to continue with my JavaScript code challenges for beginning JavaScript programmers, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, bye.